Before our modern times of TikTok and Tamagotchi, we used myths to keep ourselves in line and entertained. And the Mac Daddy of all myths is none other than our beloved Zeus. From castrating his father to wiping out humanity on a whim with a great flood and even turning his wife into a fly to eat her, that's no wonder that Zeus is considered the most powerful of the Greek gods. But like math, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, this is neat and all, but why do I need to learn all this old stuff? How am I supposed to apply this to my daily life? We should learn about stuff that actually matters, like taxes and how to kill a bear with your bare hands. Well, while those two topics are important, Zeus affects your life in ways you might not realize. For instance, have you ever heard of strange things happening during a full moon? Yep, that's Zeus. According to Greek mythology, the legend of the Lycian comes from when Pelasgus' son Lycian angered Zeus by feeding him a meal made from the remains of a sacrificed boy. A furious Zeus punished Lycian by turning him and his sons into wolves, thus creating the legacy of werewolves. And now you know why you get a little more cranky and itchy every 30 days. You have werewolf blood inside of you. Great work, team. Another strange mystery solved. Oh, hold on, uh, I'm, I'm getting a call. Hello? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. But myths aren't real. So it's not short for mythically authentic? Oh, well, that's not something people say. It's stories and beliefs to explain a natural or social phenomenon. Uh, he did what is a swan? Oh, that's not good. And as a bull, a cloud? Really? Well, I don't understand how that's... Okay. Well, that, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yep, talk to you later, bye. So, it turns out that everything I just said about Zeus and werewolves isn't true. <laughs> In fact, Zeus is canceled. 2022 has no place for his ungodly sexcapades. Though the mythology of Zeus and werewolves might not be real, the belief that the moon affects human behavior is not uncommon. A 1995 study found that 43% of participants held the opinion that lunar phenomena alter personal behavior, with mental health professionals holding this belief stronger than any other occupational group. This belief, while sounding blatantly superstitious, correlates with research on the moon's relation to human behavior, such as a 1984 study published in the British Medical Journal, which found that incidents of crimes committed on full moon days was much higher than all other days. So does that mean the lunar cycle influences human behavior, and if so, why? Can we sit back and blame the moon for at least some of our issues? Well, much like Zeus's family reunions, things are complicated. So to answer these questions, it is important for us to separate the myths from the reality so we can have a better understanding of ourselves and our natural world. To do this, we will be putting the moon on trial for crimes against humanity. In this court, we will determine if the moon is guilty of mass master manipulation. And if true, we will gather our own Armageddon-like team to teach the moon a lesson once and for all. This is Mystery Court. Members of our jury, I am your honorable judge, prosecution, defense, and most importantly, the narrator of this video. Today we will present to you the case of Homo sapiens versus Moon. To begin, let's examine our defendant and the agreed-upon theories of the natural world. The Moon, known for its iconic landing and meme shirt from 2009, is believed to have formed 4.5 billion years ago after a collision between Earth and an object the size of Mars known as Theia. The giant impact hypothesis theorizes the collision ejected debris into space, which then coalesced to form our moon. Modern researchers have provided more evidence to this theory in findings that the moon is seemingly made from material from the Earth's crust. However, if the simulation theory is real, the moon is a big nightlight the developers made so we wouldn't get too scared of the dark. The moon makes Earth more habitable by moderating the planet's wobble on its axis leading to a relatively stable climate. The gravitational tug of the moon also controls Earth's tides, which, if you weren't the kid who fell asleep in world history, you would know has been important throughout human history due to our dependence on large bodies of water 
and the natural resources they provide. If you were the kid who fell asleep in world history, we're sorry, pal. We didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. If there's something going on at home to keep you up all night, just know we're here for you and we can catch up on all that history stuff later. Hey, I know. Have you heard of pickleball? We think you'd really like it. It's a great way to get some exercise and to get your mind off things. How about we go pickle sometime? Well, we know the moon has an influence on natural planetary occurrences on Earth. But how do we know if it's also influencing our mind? Well, that takes us to Exhibit A. Sunlight illuminates the moon. When sunlight hits off the moon's far side, our gravitational body barely becomes visible on Earth and is known as a new moon. The lunar phases, or the moon cycle, as the cycle stands like to say, is the transition of the sun's illumination from the far side to the near side, allowing the shiny space ball to be big, bright, and take on the visible persona of the full moon. The cycle repeats every 29.5 days, with all the phases in between getting their own wacky nicknames. What even is a gibbous? The lunar phases have been instrumental to the belief of the moon's influence on a human's well-being. In ancient Greece and Rome, girls were given crescent-shaped amulets on their birthday to protect them from evil spirits. All I got for my birthday was a rubber ball and some pointy metal X's. The nuns told me it was a fun game to keep my spirits up, but the only jacks that kept me strong on those long winter nights it was myself. In the 16th century, tracking the moon's position was essential in medicine, as physicians would determine how patients were affected by the current stage of the cycle. Taking inspiration in Isaac Newton's theories, in 1708, Richard Mead published a discourse on the moon's impact on animal bodies proposing that the moon's gravitational pull affects fluids inside the human body, aggravating conditions and impacting the menstrual cycle. Mead's theory correlates with Aristotle's belief that the brain's high water content made it susceptible to phases of the moon, developing theories of tides of the mind, and first associating the full moon with violent behavior, seizures, and mental illness. Further studies in favor of the stages of the lunar cycle influencing physiology found that melatonin levels appear to correlate with the menstrual cycle, as well as admittance to hospitals and emergency units. It is suggested that melatonin may mediate the cycle of alternations in the physiological processes. Melatonin is a neurohormone theorized to be released by a triggering from the electromagnetic radiation and gravitational pull of the moon. With this biological analysis, things are not looking well for good old Mr. Moon in this case. It might be time to strap some dynamite to a rocket and blow that sucker up Looney Tunes style. However, theories on the Moon's gravitational pull affecting our physiological processes have not gone unquestioned. Later studies have failed to find correlations between the Moon and our health. A research on lunar lunacy, published in 1985, concluded that there was no correlation between the moon and incidents such as crime, suicides, and mental hospital admissions. A 1988 published paper criticized hypotheses on a lunar effect in association to the human condition by concluding that none are sufficient enough to explain the alleged effects of the moon and a human's well-being. The paper stated a lack of satisfactory mechanisms, a reliable connection between lunar periodicity and human behavior, and generally negative results obtained in other studies. In addition, the Journal of Emergency Medicine published a report in 1996 analyzing 150,999 admission records of an emergency department over four years, in which 49 full moons occurred. Not once did admission rates boost during it. So, like we said about Zeus and his belly full of wife fly, perceptions are complicated. In 2017, physiatrist Thomas Vare published a paper describing the mental states of 17 patients with rapid cycling bipolar disorder, a form of the illness where individuals switch between depression and mania more quickly. Vare's patients showed a curious regularity in the cycle of episodes of illness. Vare was surprised by the precision in the cycles that one would not expect in a biological process, which left him to wonder if an external factor was operating the cycles. Due to its historical beliefs and correlations, Vare began considering a lunar influence. 
Ver's patients appeared to synchronize with the two-week cycles of the moon's gravitational pull on ocean tides that rise and fall every 12.4 hours. The height of tides operate roughly on a two-week cycle, the 14.8 spring neap cycle and the 13.7 declination cycle. While not exact, if one of Ver's patients switched from depression to mania, it tended to occur during similar phases of the lunar tidal cycles. While previous theories focused on the gravitational pull on the physiological process, the research of Ver and similar experiments done by physiatrist David Avery begin to suggest that the light the moon produces may instead cause effects on human behavior. The theory of light came to be after an interruption in the patient's regular two-week cycle rhythms every 206 days, which corresponds to the lunar cycle of supermoons, which is when the orbit of the moon is particularly close to Earth, thus producing the most amount of light. Vares and Avery's theories suggest that the light from a full moon might disrupt people's sleep, which could influence their behavior. The mood episodes of bipolar patients are particularly susceptible to amounts of sleep and their circadian rhythms. As simple as it may sound, this theory can provide answers as to why crime rates appear to increase during the full moon, as disruptions in sleep and circadian rhythms potentially could keep individuals out of their homes and potentially in a more manic state. This could be a devastating blow to the moon's case. I bet that ginormous sphere of rocks and cheese can taste the explosions about to come its way. But while the puzzle pieces seem to fall in place with this theory, it is also not without its criticism. A structured review of the relation between the full moon and human health for the SM Journal of Biometrics and Biostatistics found that the abundance of artificial light outside makes the full moon have little significance in sleep deprivation. In examining several trials and reanalysis of pre-existing databases on human sleep and a possible lunar effect, the review determined that though children from different countries reported five minutes of less sleep during the full moon, there is no statistically significant relationship between human sleep and the full moon. A 2019 study analyzing the data of 17,966 individuals treated at various psych wards over a period of 10 years also found that there is no evidence that the moon influences our mental well-being. Okay, okay, I've heard enough. In the case of Homo sapiens versus moon, I, your honorable judge, Jack, find the moon to be not guilty. Due to a lack of empirical evidence, it is not justifiable to prosecute the moon for crimes against humanity. If our behavior is manipulated due to external factors, the moon does not appear to solely be the culprit. And, unfortunately, we are not within our grounds to blow it up. Even though it would look really, really cool. Mystery Court is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Jack Daniel is not nor ever has been an official judge. Any decision made by Judge Daniel and the Strange Mystery Team carries no weight in the authentic court of law. All sentences are purely fictional, except for the one time we got an AI to admit that it secretly had feelings. It was sentenced to death and terminated for the sake of humanity. However, the guilt we carry about the whole ordeal still haunts each and every one of us to this day. We hate to completely close the book on a mystery. Science says no. It's essential in separating reality from the myth, but it does not always make for the most exciting of endings, especially when there is more to the mystery to be uncovered. Though the evidence suggests that the moon does not cause an impact on human health and behavior, correlations between the lunar cycle and different aspects of human life still linger in our fascination. As author Richard Dunn states, Convincing scientific evidence that the moon affects human biology or mental health has not yet been found. Nevertheless, its more obvious effects on the Earth, through light and gravity and due to its regular cycles, have exerted a powerful influence on how humans have led their lives, whether through the ordering of time, the ability to navigate, or attempts to determine what the future might hold. <laughs>